Alrighty guys, I just replaced the ESOM okay, on this vehicle. I had a P0456 and I want to show y'all something as it relates to the smoke machine that you use. The one I use tend to have a ball. We can do an air pressure check as well as a visual check using the smoke. I choose to do the air check. Now if your ball is bouncing around like this guys, don't panic. It's trying to fill the system up and actually verify if there's a leak. What you don't want to happen is that ball to continue to bounce like that. Just be a little patient, okay? Chances are you fixed the leak. There you go. There, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need a stable ball all the way at the bottom. Signaling. There we go. Now, guys, from there, you can be confident that you no longer have any EVAP system leak, especially a small EVAP system leak. That machine is used to uh test the evap system okay the evap system was put in place because uh car makers don't really want uh fuel vapors escaping into the atmosphere okay so what they use is uh this charcoal canister they restore those vapors in this charcoal canister uh and at a predetermined time the purge valve yes the purge valve is also included in the evap system it will pull those vapors out of here. You can't keep vapors in here forever. Eventually, they will have to be purged. All right, that purge valve will simply purge those vapors back into the intake manifold. Remember, at a predetermined time, determined by the computer, all right, to burn those vapors, all right? So yeah, it's a vicious cycle, okay? But now, as far as which parts you replace, I see a lot of guys on YouTube asking me uh, or telling me that they replaced this and they check in the light still on for a small evap leak. Guys, what that simply is mean is that wasn't the reason your car was leaking, okay? This machine needs to be used during testing, okay? Don't just automatically assume your car needed ESOM just because you saw a video on YouTube showing you how to replace one. The majority of those videos, I even have a few out there. I'm just literally showing you how to replace the ESOM. I cannot, where I stand or where I sit, uh, diagnose your car over online. Okay, I have no idea where you'll leak it. Now, some cars are equipped with a capless system, so you don't have to worry about a gas cap. However, a leak to test testing will show you if you're leaking from here. Okay, but you don't have to worry about a physical fuel cap. So mainly, uh, the lines in between the purge, the ESOM, and the vapor canister should be your concern. Okay, but if you're gonna guess, uh, I'm against guessing, but if you're going to guess, guess small. Okay, a fuel cap is inexpensive. This ESM is not that expensive as well. So, and a purge valve is not expensive. So, the complete system is not that expensive enough to uh, not really warrant guessing. All right, remember, the average shop will charge you, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks to diagnose your car. All right, that couple hundred bucks probably can go on all three of those parts. At that point, if you still got a leak, guys, you got some holes leaking that's unseeable with the naked eye. You need a smoke machine to fill the system up, and then you look for the smoke, and that will determine where your leak at. Okay, so that's just I'm just throwing that out there. All right, all three of those parts. This car don't have a gas cap, so this ESOM. Anybody want to price this out? This is a Jeep Renegade. This ESOM and that purge valve. Do, does those two parts exceed? Uh, let's say $150. That's what the average shop charge to diagnose your car, to smoke test your car. Okay? If not, then go for it. All right? Yeah, you heard it here. JT the car guy. Okay? You can, it's worth giving it a shot. Let me try a Eastman and Purge. But don't get back online. Don't get back on the internet going, I replaced those parts and my car still got a problem. My guy, you guessed at it. Okay? Yeah, I have a few of those comments in my under my videos uh guys kind of upset with me because they replaced these parts and they still have a small evap leak this right here will cut out all the guesswork okay yes especially the kind that use the ball guys i'm talking too much that's all i have uh, be smart about this all right is it worth it you determine that your pocketbook can only be the use of your pocketbook your purse your wallet your pockets can only be determined by you how much how much money you want to come out of it how's that all right guys i gotta go thanks for tuning in